Hello y'all, today I want to show up a couple of books that I bought recently um, during the Thanksgiving um, uh, time and uh, yesterday. And let's just get started because there's a ton of books. The first book I got is this Action Comics 902, um, The Reign of Doomsday Storyline. And I got a 901 as well. I think there's one more that I need. But cool covers. And this looks like a cool story. Doomsday is one of my favorite villains. So it's nice to see him as something else other than Death of Superman. This is Wonder Woman 206. And part of the Medusa storyline. This is Trinity uh, number 32 by Jim Lee. And then here's 33, and this is a connecting cover. Really cool, in my opinion. It's not the most famous uh, one, though. There's another one. With all three of them by Jim Lee that's um, used a lot. This is number 42 for Trinity. This is like an alternate Wonder Woman, I think. Uh, I think 43 and 44 have the, the Superman and Batman alternate. This is Justice League number 11 from the TV show. Here is Spider-Man and Red Sonya number two. I already have number one. Um, I do find it interesting that I, I watch a lot of comic haul videos and so many of them feature books from this uh, limited series. Didn't know it was that big. Here we got Green Lantern's Rebirth number one. With Jessica Cruz on the cover, drawn by Ethan Van Skyver. And Jessica Cruz is a really cool Green Lantern. Here we got another Just Sleep book. This is with Fire on the cover. Not sure what, uh, if this is from the cartoon or what, or this is just. A random Justice League series. Here we got Superman 684, but this is a, um, about Parasite. I'm pretty sure this is drawn by Alex Ross. I don't really know much about Parasite. I've seen him in a couple of the cartoons, and I read about him in All-Star Superman. But I, I think it'd be pretty interesting to learn more about him. Seems very underrated. Uh, these next two books are just magazines, wizard magazines, and this is um, one one drawn uh, by Greg Horn, and I got it because it has Chun Li. I've never seen it before. This is another another one, but the cover is drawn by Michael Turner. It has Witchblade. It has. Um, Fathom and there's Lara Croft. This is for per like a uh, for for a uh, personal collection. Uh, this is a Dead by Daylight comic. I play the game. I share gameplay on the channel. Um, so I just had to get it. Even though the character they use isn't really my favorite. And these are some other books I bought. So we got Web of Spider-Man. This is Wood Lizard on the cover. I'm going to be doing a, a, vi a, a video on my uh, full collection of my comic book villains. That's why I got a bunch of them. Here's the Joker. 
Batman Endgame. This is Hulk number 11, the variant. Pretty sure the cover is drawn by Ed McGinnis. Um, I read like the first is six issues of the, uh, the story. It's pretty good. And I already had this book. But it was uh, like the normal cover. And this is the lenticular for Dark Side number one. That one was five bucks. And this is not a villain one. This is just one that I bought recently. And it was pretty expensive. It was 60 bucks. But so worth it. This uh, Legion of Super Heroes number one. The Jim Lee cover. Or variant. With uh, Saturn Girl. I picked this one because I liked her a lot in the Legion of Super Heroes cartoon. She's one of the better characters. And she'd been featured in a ton of cartoons like Young Justice and um, Superman anime series, but that um, the the Legion of Super Heroes cartoon is really what put her on, on the map. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.